Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Today it's the 25th of March and it's a very beautiful day. We unfortunately got some snow, but now it's pretty warm outside, everything is starting to melt, so spring is finally here. And so is a new feeding video. So this is tarantula feeding video number 135, so sit back and enjoy, grab a bag of popcorn. Uh, this video will be the main priority and I'll be sure enough be playing Resident Evil 7 uh, episode 4 we'll all explore uh, the old house. And as well as to make another news that uh, Tranchal Canada is getting an import uh, this coming weekend. So that'll be really exciting to see what they offer and let's see if uh, they got some nice species that I might be interested in purchasing. So, without further ado, guys, let's get started. Timestamps are on the video description, so if you're looking for a particular tarantula, just look at the timestamps, everything's there. Uh, scientific name and common name. Alright guys, enjoy! Alright, the very first tarantula we're going to be featuring in Feeding Video 135 is a Bonatina populatinensis, formerly species Guerrero. Uh, this is the Mexican Blue Beauty. This is Lana, she is about a three and a half inch female. And yep, yeah, she attacked it. You don't think you really can see her very much. She loves to hide. But there she is. Sorry for the light, guys. This one here is Laura. She is a female Gramostola species mull, which is the orange fluff. She's thinking about it. Nice. There she is, guys. Very beautiful. Breeding up the lovely charm of my mature female Mexican red rump, Brachypalma vagans. Uh, this is Morticia, 7 inch female. Boosh! <laughs> I love her. She's cute. So let me just open this cave up here and show you how big she is. Yep, she's full grown, about six and a half inches. Good girl. Here's Daisy, female Lassiodora parahybana, salmon pink bird eater. Yeah, she is a monster. Oh, can you hear that snap, crackle, crunch? Kellogg's Rice Krispies! Ooh, nice fang action here. Yep, she is about, I would say, a good six and a half inches. Uh, not even full grown yet. Expect these guys to get about 10, 11 inches when full grown. Yeah. Absolutely badass. Alright, let's try a Sirico Palma species Santa Catalina. This is the female uh, Santa Catalina bird eater. I tried feeding my male and he wasn't really interested. Let's see how a little girl does.
Ooh, nice. You certainly gotta love your Sirico Palma. There's an up close shot of her. Nice coloration. Gramastola Polkrepis. This is the Chaco Goldeny. This is Wendy. A three and a half inch female. Boop. Oh yes. Perfect. Really nice shot of her. This is her big sister, Fat Peach. <laughs> well, Princess Peach. I'm going to meet the princess. Look at me, I'm Mr. Mario. Whoa! I'm a food for the princess. <laughs> yep. It's about the same size, if not maybe a little bit slightly larger than Wendy. Little bald spot, but nothing pre molt yet. Alright everyone, a little info here about uh, my bracket palma smithy. I'm still going to call them B. Smithy instead of B. Hamore since the Name revisions are not set in stone yet. I have not seen any papers indicating so, so I'm just going to revert back to Smithy and Nisa uh, until I see the name revisions. So this is my Bracket Palma Smithy, the two inch female that I picked up from Dawn, TanglesandWebs.com, uh, when I went to the expo two weeks ago. So as you can see, she has a nice big black bolt spot, which indicates she's going to be molting very soon. So. It would be pointless to feed her since uh, she wouldn't eat uh, when they're in pre-molt. So I'm fortunately going to uh, skip her for now. Up next is a Brachypalma verdesi, unsexed specimen, Mexican rose gray, about an inch and a half. So let's see what's going to happen. Ooh, yeah, like a champ. Damn, nature, you scary. Wow, nice. Mm -mm -mm. That's what it's called, but she spelled the name wrong. There's an E instead of an A. But that's it. Very nice bracket palma to own. Hi Athena. She is my bracket palma smithy. Now bracket palma homori. The Mexican red knee. She's a fantastic eater. Great job, honey. Yep, about five and a half inches and at two inches, you can see there are full adult colors pop up. A very nice bracket to bone and definitely the hobbyist classic. Uh, this actually was happened to be the second species I purchased when I started back collecting over 20 years ago and of course everyone asked me what was my first tarantula obviously it was the rose hair Jeepo Terry uh, because I wanted to start off with a nice chief species learn how to raise it and worked my up way up the ladder to more an expensive species so here I am sitting with a nice collection of 156 teas yeah, look at her. She's doing the happy dance. Oh, look at that. She's webbing. 
<laughs> when you own teas for this long, you do witness some really, really cool behavior. I guess what she's going to do, uh, simply, she's going to drop the super worm there and then she's going to roll it up and save it for later. It's kind of like what we do with, saran, with food and saran wrap. We put it in the fridge and eat it for leftovers. Huh, very nice. Here's Aragog, a female Brachypelma abopolosum curly hair. Uh, this is the hobby form. Nice. Very, very good. Here's Roy, a Gramostola pulchra, Brazilian black. This is an immature male named Roy. Named after uh, the Koopaling characters. Very nice, healthy male. Again, with Gramostolas and any New World species, except for uh, Tapnicinius, uh, Iridopalma, and Somapolis, they have urticating hairs that they like to kick off, either when they're irritated or they just mark their territory. Since I really rarely interact with any of my tarantulas, uh, these bald spots are just due to marking their territory. That's why he has the bald spot, but nothing to worry about. At least you can tell uh, when he's in pre-molt or not, and in this case, he's not. Here's a very large Pamphibedius ultramarinus, which is the Ecuadorian purple pink femur. There we go, that's, that's a nice bite. Yeah, you can see that she's not very pretty. She is in desperate need of a molt. But definitely one of my favorites of the Panthibedia species because of their uh, color, both as females and males. Gramostola poteri female. This is the common rose hair. Michaela. Fantastic eater. Alright, this is a female Last Eudora Klugi, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Uh, she's probably close to about four and a half inches now. Oh, that is a nice shot. Beautiful. That's one cookie jar that you want put, you don't want to put your fingers in. <laughs> yep. She's a big one, but I got even bigger. Yeah, that's what she said. Ah yeah, take a gander of this massive beauty. This is my bigger female Kluge. This is the adult size. Humongous. Oh, look at the fangs on that sucker. <laughs> okay, since it's a large tarantula, we'll give her another super. Boop. Yeah, she kind of went off camera there. But she is literally huge. She's about eight and a half inches. There's my hand, you can see that she pretty much covers it. The abdomen is the size of a golf ball, she is extremely healthy. And her name is Marisa. 
love her hair. Really gives a nice definition to the word tarantula. Definitely the largest one in my collection, that is for sure. All right, the very first pokey of feeding video 135 is my female Pocotheria ornata, the fringed ornamental. Nice. Very nice and gentle. I've owned a couple of Ornatas and <laughs> they weren't too friendly, but this one here, it's pretty different. As we all know, tarantulas have their own uh, personal, unique personality, and this Ornata seems to be the most chill out of the or Ornatas that I've owned in the past. This little pretty thing is my female Kilobrachys frimbriatus, the Indian violet. About a three and a half inch female. There we go, nice job. All right, hopefully you can see the leg over here. Uh, this is my female Pocotheria vitata, the ghost ornamental. Boosh. And here's another one. Really nice pokey. Let's try the mature male P. vitata. There we go. As you can see, very differently colored than the female. This one here is a Theraphosphini species Pyura, unknown common name, suspect female. This is superb eater, as you'll see in uh, just a bit. Got some nice coloration for an undescribed species. So let me just. There we go. Push that male cricket in there. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that's what it's called. Theraphosunai species Pyura. Well, you can see the name. This is a Serathogyrus marshalli, the straight horn baboon. Female. Good job, sweetheart. I can just make out the little horn on her carapace. But this is my personal favorite of the Serathogyrus species. Alright, this one here is a Lassiodora difficilis, the Brazilian fire red bird eater, or nicknamed LD. Let's dance. And you see that? 
he or she made the happy dance. This one, I do believe it could be a suspect female, but I do need a mold to confirm. Yeah, pretty much like your L Parhaban on your L Kluge. They get up to the same 10 inches in lifespan. Only difference is I don't really see much of the red hairs as I do on the Kluge. Alright, here is a female Gramostola Acteon, which is the Brazilian woolly. And I just fed the female, as you probably can see the writing here. And we'll see how the male does. Uh, Acteons are really great eaters. Um, one of the few Gramostola in my collection that love to eat besides the species mole but they're savage eaters watch this yeah what a great boy the boy's gotta eat he's gotta have a supper maybe I should call this guy Jack and this girl Marguerite yeah, since I don't have a Jack and Marguerite from Resident Evil 7. Yeah, so that's a given. He's Jack, she's Marguerite. That's great. Now I need an Ethan, and I do have a Mia. But, great. Love it. This one is a really nice looking spiderling that will eventually lose uh, the colors when they will mature. Uh, this is a Panthibetia species Macaula, also known as the Purple Starburst Bird Eater. These guys are really great eaters, as you just found out in the last second I just <laughs> dumped the cricket in. It's a nice, nice pretty tea. Uh, these get up to about 9 inches as adults, as females, and about 5 inches as males, so uh, they get a pretty damn good size. Okay, so you've seen my adult female eat. Let's try a juvie female, Panthibetus ultramarinus, the Ecuadorian purple pink femur. This is Lauren. I know which is a confirmed female, I sexed her by molt. And she's actually one of the more aggressive eaters out of my two Ultra Marinus. Just goes to show you that individual specimens vary. And went back into hiding and she wants to be left alone and eat in peace. Alright, this one I'm going to hold the camera this time so I can get a good glimpse out of my cobalt blue female, Ceragopicus lividus. See if I can draw her out for you guys. Oh, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Is she going to say hi to you? Come on, do it for the fans. I'm sure they would love to see how pretty you are, Midna. That's my girl. Yeah, cobalt blues are pretty much a pet hole, so you don't really get to see them much, but got a nice piercing of the fangs. And now she's back in the hole. This one here is a red bloom bird eater, Panthibetius vespertinus. Yep. 
looks a lot like the Pamphibedius Machala, except they slightly differ in colors as adults. These guys have a more reddish tinge to them, while Macala has a little purple to them. That's why they call it the st purple starburst. But a really nice species and infamous for their Christmas tree patterns. All right, let's try another Panthibedius. Uh, this one happens to be a Fortis, which is the Colombian brown tarantula. That's going to get a nice brown color to them. Which is pretty much the staple color of spiders nowadays. Sweet. Alrighty, this is the unknown Pokey. Did a fantastic job. I love this one. Uh, this is the one I got from my friend Yuli in the Tarantulas in Canada forum. Was sold to me as initially Safuska, but as you can see, this is nowhere look like Safuska at all. So I'm kind of thinking that this could be either Fermosa or Tigrina Wiseli. Um, starting to show some signs of, of Formosa. All right, I gotta find some time to pair up uh, this mature male with Lois, my mature female. Uh, this is JMC's red faced rose hair, Gramostola rosea. That I nicknamed Peter after the Family Guy show. So, I'm hoping you can see uh, the reflection here. Uh, this is Tina, my female Pocotheria tigrina wesseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Boosh! Let's see if she'll get the other one. Oh! She's hungry. Is she gonna get it? Is she daring? Oh yeah! She is daring as... Woo! <laughs> nice! Here, take a gander of her. Yeah, she's a sub-adult female around six inches. These guys get up to having around a seven and a half inch leg span. She's pretty calm compared to most of the pokies. And believe me, that's a good thing. And you can tell if you see where my thumb is pointing to, that is your epigastric furrow. And with pokies this size, you can easily tell uh, if it's female or a male by the ventral shot. All right, so if you can make that orange blur over here, well, that is my big female OBT, Tronoculus murinus RCF also called Usambara Orange Red Baboon. Typically see them a lot in pet stores. I'm gonna go for an aerial view this time. Oh, oh maybe not. Oh yeah. Definitely in a pissed off mood. And you, ooh, ooh, I gotta get it. I gotta get this. I gotta get a close up shot of this, guys. This is pretty scary. Her fangs are out. Just goes to show you how 
OBTs are very nasty tarantulas, not recommended absolutely whatsoever for a beginner. <laughs> Hopefully she's going to take this line down. Oh, she did. She absolutely nailed it. Line down. Hey, that's cool. All right, this one here, very obvious. Trinidad Chevron, Salmopoas Cambridgei, suspect male. Love the colors on the Trinidad Chevy. Females are, oh, he, acts, he molted. Here's another pokey. This one is a P. fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental, female, lucky. There we go. About four inches. Alright, this one looks very spectacular after its molt. This is a Venezuelan Chevron, Samopoas Langenbuchuri. Alright, she's he or she's awesome. Trying to get the nice coloration if you can they got the colors. Uh, it's a nice deep purple. Yeah. Very, very nice. Cool. All right, I just noticed Pandora on the glass, and it would be a great shame and opportunity if I don't feature her right now. But this is my big female Indian ornamental, Pocotheria regalis, Indian ornamental, big female, Pandora. Whoop. I missed. Oh, nice. <sighs> All right. Strike one, strike three. Oh. All right, strike three, I'm out. Strike one, strike three. I mean, strike one, strike two, and let's see if I can do strike three. Strike three, you're out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you know what? I'll give one more. I'm gonna have to buy super worms anyway. So, no, get away from that. Here, honey. Take it, honey. Good girl. Very, very good girl. Yeah, take a nice shot of Pandora. She's very beautiful. I'll end the video with this one more tea for good luck. Uh, my other P Regalis. Big Zelda. Woo, she's fast. Let's see if she'll transform into Sheik for us. <laughs> Definitely a little bit more shy than Pandora. 
Alright guys, so that's it for part one of the feeding video. Hope you enjoyed it. So part two I'll be continuing on with this shelf and the bottom shelf and as well as this shelf here. And the last part will feature these two shelves with most of the pokies here and the brachypalmas like the Bumgartenai, Bomi, and Bemelia. Alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more vids.